Kicking off this Monday in the mix, Joe Breezy, who's now with Mix 92.9, and you're keeping us up to date on the latest pop culture, gossip, and big events in town, like always. All the things, starting yes. Monday, July 24th, I'm going to be on Mix 92.9 uh, every single weekday from 4 to 7 o'clock. So when you're driving home from work, you can put us on and listen to Mix 92.9 and get that feel-good variety. So it should be a good time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank That's you. I'm very, very excited. Very yeah. happy. For you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, big event. And I'm still going to be here, keeping you guys in the well, know about what's happening. We're not letting you leave. Right? right. <laughs> Starting tonight, a Nashville favorite on the salsa and jazz scene <gasps> is performing at Rudy's Room in the Gulch. Uh, Giovanni, Giovanni Rodriguez is his name. Now, first of all, if you have not been to Rudy's, you are absolutely slipping. Do yourself that favor and check it out. Seriously, it's such a cool space. It's like this old cave kind of thing, like in the gold. It's totally built like out of rock, kind of underground thing. Super dark, jazzy, like old school New Orleans with like candlelit lamps and all that stuff. Get there early, get a good seat. It's small, it's supposed to be kind of a small, intimate kind of vibe. So, but even if you're not like super into jazz music, just the vibe is so cool. You can sit at the bar, you can have dinner. It's really, really I neat. feel like people might see you there. That, this is true, you know? <laughs> I, I do like live right that. around the corner. Yeah, I want to go watch that. Yeah, yeah. It is very cool. Yeah. It is very neat. Definitely check that out. Uh, now, there's two, there's two super cool shows I want to talk about happening tomorrow night. One, UB40, wow. and two, Tears for Fears. Yes. Now, UB40, who, of course, sing Red Red Wine, they're, mm -hmm. like, totally legends. They're at the Symphony Center, um, and it's their debut there, but they're not with the Symphony. It's just them, but they're definitely, definitely going to bring their best, of course, as they do every single night. Uh, show starts at 7.30. They've been performing, by the way, together for 45 years. I grew up listening to them. Mm. That makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're still oh, classic. Legends, yes. legends, yes. absolutely. That's it's the same so why cool. you can. And then Tears for Fears, uh, Franklin, Williamson County, this is happening for you. You're going to be hosting them. Uh, uh, First Bank Amphitheater. Yeah. Tickets are still available. And But here's the thing. Like, Live Nation just kind of announced this show not too long ago. So there's still, like, a handful of really, really good seats for reasonably priced, like, tickets. You know um, what I mean? Daniel got tickets to go see that. Yeah, okay. Like, a while ago. He was like, I, the minute they probably came out somewhere, he found it. And he was like, oh, I'm going. I'm not, but he'll be there. There so. you go. Aww. Good deal. Should be a great time. <laughs> Uh, now, there's still drama happening, right, when it comes to Kevin Costner and the ex-wife. Oh, boy. You know me. Got to keep you in the know when it comes to the hot gossip yep. and the pop news and all that. Now, at the end of the day, I think they just want to make each other's lives miserable. Like, no one's calling off the dogs here, which is, like, too bad. Uh, remember, he ordered her to move out and all that, and then yeah. she was, like, squatting and, like, not moving, even though she was hooking up with, like, the former house guest. She wanted $239,000 per month for child support. Yeah. Well, now he wants to, or now she has to leave by July 31st. Uh -huh. But I guess she went on this random shopping spree with one of his credit cards. So he Amazing. moved her credit da down to like $10,000 instead of $30,000. So they're just like, like, I don't tip, know. It's just like, for totally, I mean, totally. It's entertaining to score. watch, but you know. I still, yeah. still from the last time you said it, can't get over the fact that she's asking for that much amount. It's a, a lot month. of money. It's a lot of money. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, now, two quick things when it comes to Hollywood dating world. One, Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian were seen flirting. You know that July 4th Michael Rubin party that like all the big celebs were at? They were like at the beach together, just them during the day and then dancing at night and like the whole thing. So, I mean, there's been rumors on and off about them, like, being, because they're both single and extremely yeah. rich and live in the same neighborhood in Florida or have houses there and all that stuff. Uh -huh. So we're going to see what happens hmm. with that. But uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Gigi Hadid saw each other at the same party after a few adult bevies. They finally <laughs> talked, reconciled, and now they're dating again. But they're kind of just like us normal people. You get drunk, see your ex at a party, and you're like, hey, so whatever really happened? <laughs> stars, stars, they're just like us. Totally. Yeah. Who would have thought? Actual I mean... people. So, you know, America's birthday, <laughs> oh alcohol, and a lot God. of money, anything is possible. Happens to the best of us, it I does. guess. All right, now, I do want to get you guys' opinion on this. So we all know that Ryan Seacrest is replacing Pat Sajak, mm -hmm. right, in 2024 yeah. from Wheel of Fortune and all that. Vanna White is holding out her contract right now. She does have leverage, oh, right, because... Yeah. They're not really going to switch out Pat and her at the same time, right? But she wants, uh, long story short, she, the producers might not be able to get her to the number she wants. So some people are saying that Ryan Seacrest should pay out of his deal her never the happen. difference of that. So what's your opinion on that? I mean, I do think if it's true that she hasn't had a raise in however many years that they say she hasn't, right. I do think she should have a raise and right. deserves more money. Ryan Seacrest will never 
pay, in my opinion, will never pay out of Do you his think bucket. he should be obligated to? No. Or whatever? It ha no. It like, it's the longest running game show. They can f scrounge up yeah, the cash Those money. agents will never let that happen. And we watch because of Vanna. Of course. Come oh, my on. gosh. Everybody loves Vanna. It's Wheel. It's Wheel of Fortune, you know? That's right. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll be back in the mix Wednesday. Okay. Love thanks, it. Joe. Thank you. Thank you.